Almost got it. Almost got... Oh, <laughs> hello, and welcome to Treehouse. I'm here in our Walk in the Woods exhibit, and it's time to get ready for kindergarten. I'm pretending to fish. I like fishing, because if you catch them, you get to count them. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let him go again. Why did you let him go? Because he bit my finger so. Which finger did he bite? The little one upon the right. Do you know this song? Sing it with me. It's easy. Just count with your fingers and move your hand like a fish. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let him go again. Why did you let him go? Because he bit my finger so. Which finger did he bite? The little one upon the right. <laughs> Counting sure is fun. But I'm not catching any fish here. I need our teacher, Miss Bindergarten, to help me. Where is she? Oh, where, oh, where is Miss Bindergarten? Oh, where, oh, where can she be? It's time to get ready for kindergarten. Oh, where, oh, where can she be? Oh, there she is. Oh, Miss Bindergarten! So good to see you here in the woods. Miss Bindergarten is one of our favorite teachers. She teaches kindergarten in a series of books by Joseph Slate and Ashley Wolf, and illustrated by Ashley Wolf. What are we doing today, Miss Bindergarten? Oh, look at that. You are counting fish, too. Miss Bindergarten's students all love numbers. But do you know who would really like this? Noah Newt and Gwen Gorilla. They both love numbers and counting things. Can you count too? I bet you can. Let's count these fish together. There's one, two, three, four, five. There are five toy fish in the river. And did you notice there are two different colors of fish? Red and blue. Let's count the red ones. One, Two. There are two red fish. Can we count the blue ones too? One, two, three. Three blue fish. Wait, which color has more fish? Right, there are more blue fish. And which color has fewer fish? Uh-huh, there are fewer red fish. I think you really know how to count. I only wish we had more fish. Wait, where did she go? Oh, <laughs> what a surprise. Oh, look, more fish. How many fish are in this net, Miss Bindergarten? Oh, I see. There are four toy fish in this net. Hmm. Oh. Another net. How many fish are in this net? Oh, ho there are ten toy fish in this net. That's more than in this net. Ten is more than four. Oh, wow, another net with more fish. How many fish are in this net, Miss Bindergarten? Oh, we don't know how many fish are in the net. But we can figure it out, Miss Bindergarten. Will you help us? First we guess, and then we count. That's the way to figure it out. It's called estimating. It's a way to guess when you don't know how many you have. You have to look carefully, but anybody can do it. This will help us guess. First, does this orange net have more fish or fewer fish than the purple net? Right, to me, it seems like the orange net has more fish, more than four. Next, does the orange net have more fish or fewer fish than the blue net? Right, it seems like the orange net has fewer fish than the blue net, fewer than 10. 
So your net has to have more fish than four and fewer fish than ten. Do you have a guess? Maybe you're right. But remember, it's okay to be wrong. It just helps us guess better the next time. Hmm. I'm going to estimate that we have six fish in your net. Now that we've guessed, it's time to count. Let's dump them out. That's my favorite part. <laughs> Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven fish. I guessed six. That's pretty close to seven. How many did you guess? Miss Pindergarten, can we guess again? But this time, let's make a big guess. Let's do it with all of the fish that we have. To do that, we're going to have to put them all into the same net. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of fish. How many do you think there are? Do you remember when we had 10 fish in the net? Does this seem like more fish than 10 or fewer fish than 10? Right, it seems like a lot more than 10 fish. I'm going to estimate that there are about 20 fish. What do you think? Now the only way to find out for sure is to count them. Okay, it's time to dump them out. <laughs> That's a lot of fish to count. But we can make it easier if we count in small groups. This time, let's count in groups of five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Huh, we have twenty-one toy fish. We guessed that we had about that many. We guessed twenty. Wow, that is good guessing and good counting. And you know you can do more of that at home? Can you think of things to count? Maybe how many socks do you have? Or how many pieces of bread in a loaf? Or how many noodles in your lunch? Or how many buttons in your closet? Or, or, or how many... Oh, okay, okay, you get the idea. You can figure it out. But in the meantime, why don't we sing our fish counting song again? One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let him go again. Why did you let him go? Because he bit my finger so. Which finger did he bite? The little one upon the right. So good. And if you really like counting, you should check out Miss Bindergarten's class in Miss Bindergarten Celebrates 100 Days of Kindergarten. For more school readiness activities, you can check out the Get Ready for Kindergarten with Miss Bindergarten activity book. And whether or not you have a workbook, you can visit the link in the description below for more resources to help parents and students. Until we see you again, bye. Treehouse Museum is in Ogden, Utah. But don't forget that you can visit Treehouse anytime online at treehousemuseum.org.